According to residents, this was the third incident that a dead body had been found dumped within the area in a period of one year. However, this was the most worrying episode as the other cases had bodies found intact. Mimi ni kustukia sana ni msiba imenikuta juu hapa ni kwangu ni shamba yangu ni kandwa shamba yangu niko na nimestukia wachungaji wakakuja wakaniita wakaniambia kuna jambo fulani kuna mtu amelala hapa nikakuja nikashuhudia nikashuhudia nikaona kweli ile kifo amekufa si kawaida ama si kunyongo ama si nini ni ametolewa uhai ni watu tu nikakimbia nikaita majirani yangu wakakuja wakashuhudia tukaita wakubwa wetu wakakuja tuko na mshangao mkubwa sana sababu kama huyu mtu tunaona hapa ni mwanamke ameuawa ametolewa samsake sasa hivi kichwa imeondolewa matumbo ndio yale amemwaga kule shambani atujui hao watu walikuwa na shughulikani kama ni ku, kama kama ni waisi ama ni walibivu ama kuna vitu walikuwa nahitaji kwa mwili wa huyu mtu kwa hivyo tuko na jambo la kushangaa Confirming the incident, Mumui Location Senior Chief Selas Kenya said that the victim could not be identified as the head was missing with body naked and mutilated. He said that this was the third incident of body dumping in the area, noting that the move motive of the killing was clear, with most people attributing the removal of our organs to witchcraft. Uh, nilipata kama chief nilipata report mwendo wa saa 5 hivi. Nikambiwa kuna mtu amepatikana hiyo area nga Intedia. Uh, ambayo ni ni msichana kwa umri wa makamo hivi tuseme miaka kama 20 na hivi na wako wako wanajulikana kwa sababu wako wana kichwa alikuwa matalo nguo zote na alikuwa amepasulua tumbo ni kama intensive zake zilikuwa zimetolewa pia zikatupo nje na kwa hivyo watu wangeweza kumtambua wananipigia ripoti pale na nikaenda na before nifike pale niliweza kuinform uh, maafisa wa polisi nikapiga ripoti uh, katika kituo cha polisi cha cha Ngodone na polisi pia wameweza kukuja wameweza kuchukua yule mwili na sasa hivi wanaendelea na shughuli za za kufanya uchunguzi wajue nani mwenye kufanya kitendo hichi na probably wakishajua ni nani atua itachukuliwa ambayo e, inafaa tumekuwa na visa vingine vile hapo nyuma katika area hii watu wanaolua mbali wanakuja wanatupa hiyo area yetu Can you say that the body was only discovered by a boy who was herding goats in the vicinity and insisted that the area needs more police officers to intensify patrols adding that only a few national police reservists patrol the area he called upon residents to be more vigilant and report suspicious occurrences for appropriate action to be taken in good time Fleet uh, hours kari wetu wa NPR ndio walikuwa nafanya patrols na pia tunaendelea kuwaendikutulua kuwaimisa waendelea kufanya hizo patrols wanakuwa akifanya hizo patrols ya yeah? lakini sasa hii kitu ni kama ilikuwa unfortunate kwa sababu ile ilifanyika hakuna mmoja wali jua mpaka imekuja mahali yule ile ilikuwa imewekwa imekuja kuonekana na kijana tu akiwa amechunga mbuzi ndio akaenda kaeleza wale ile ambao wameko jirani na akaweza kutoka ndio sasa tukapata report mali alikuwa amewekwa angefika hata mpaka usiku angekuwa hata mpaka angekuwa angekuwa hapo mpaka usiku bila kujulikana kwa wapi ni kijana tu amesaidia alikuwa anachunga mbuzi akaona mwili akakimbia kusema nyumbani ni watu majirani nao wakajua hatujashuhudia kitu kingine kama mtu hapa kukata kichwa vitu kama hizo au wengine walikuwa ambao walikuwa wametupo hapo ni watu milio iko intact wanalua tu wanatupo lakini huu vitu yake yote imeenda sasa pengine tunashukuru ni mambo mengine wako nayo Pastor Daniel Tharimbo also questioned the manner in which the murder was perpetrated and called upon members of public to desist from walking alone in the area especially at night. Nikitondo mbaya sana. Na mimi naomba watu wetu ikiwezekana ikiwa ni mapenzi ya Mungu. Tuwe pengine nyumbani saa njioni usiende peke yako usikubali kwenda peke yako. Kuwa na mtu mwingine ambaye mnaandamana naye kwa sababu sasa kama huyu atujue aliuao kwa nini. Lakini uchungu sana kwa sababu hakuna haya ya kutoa uhai wa binadamu. Rehema Wanja in whose shamba the body was dumped recounted that a young had noticed the body and rushed to his home to inform her. She lamented that the area had been turned into a dumping site for people killed elsewhere, calling for establishment of a police post in the area. Hii ndio mara ya tatu. Moja ilikuwa pale juu, ingine ilikuwa pale juu. Karibu na ile machuma ziko pale. Kwa hivyo hii Eh hii area tu inachafukaga tu si watu wa wenyeji inakujaga inaletwa. Wamefanya hapa kama kaburi. Sasa sisi tunakutaka nini 
watu wamekufa tu The victim's clothes were located approximately 300 meters from her body along the same road only a month ago yet another middle-aged woman was killed and body parts mutilated the same way in the neighboring Isiolo town causing fear among members of the public that there could be a racket of criminals in the area trading in human body organs and targeting women in particular the residents called for speedy investigations to help unravel the mystery and bring the perpetrators to book Wahetoke Shohei for Destiny Television.